Hi guys, if you've got one of these heaters, you will know how good they are. Um, but one of the big problems with them is if they lose power. So if you lose your power supply, which is easily done in a power cut, the heater won't go through its proper cooling down cycle. And this can melt the motherboard, which is located in the same casing as the burner. Now, this shutdown cycle is not just for cooling the heater down, it's in preparation for when the heater is restarted. So it removes any combustion gases or unburnt fuel from the combustion chamber. And if it didn't do this, you'd get quite a bit of smoke at startup. But the main problem is in a rapid shutdown, if the motherboard is gonna get melted because it's located in the same casing as the burner, wouldn't it be a good idea to take the motherboard out of that casing? Then it wouldn't be a problem. So this is exactly what I'm going to do now. And there is the motherboard. So if we can mount this motherboard uh, just outside of the main casing uh, there's no danger of it getting too hot and melting uh, it looks like the wires are long enough so uh, I'm going to give it a try okay so we're putting the motherboard just outside of the casing uh, yeah I think ideally you would uh, extend the wires if doing this permanently but I think for today's experiment we've just got enough uh, enough length on the wires to uh, to put it just outside of the casing uh, and we'll put this cover back on and get that screwed up uh, and what I'm gonna do is go for uh, a rapid shutdown and we'll see what effect it has on everything and there it is the motherboard on the outside of the casing uh, and obviously it can't uh, it can't melt there, can it? Okay, so I'll just show you the uh, the full setup. So the heater is uh, sitting on a workbench. Uh, there's a hole in the workbench for the exhaust, and the exhaust going outside. And there's the exhaust coming out the other side of the garage wall. Okay, so we're going to get it started. Uh, power on. Heater on. Uh, Let's see what happens. Don't normally do that. That's interesting. Error six. Right. What's that? Okay, so I've just Googled error six on a diesel heater uh, and it's come up as a, a fan error. Uh, I've obviously annoyed the fan so I'm going to take the cover off and just take a look inside. I mean, I, I don't know. Would it work um, with the cover completely off? And well, that's spinning nicely. But I think I've just solved the problem. Uh, there's magnets on the fan. And... Probably a sensor 
on the motherboard which is picking up readings so yeah maybe it's not going to run with the uh, with the motherboard outside okay so I'm quickly going to put the motherboard back on uh, and see if we have an instant fix uh, with obviously it being the uh, a sensor which is magnetically controlled by these magnets on the fan okay so it's all switched on uh, the fans going around slowly so there's obviously a sensor there in the motherboard which is which works off those magnets on the fan um, and it looks like it's starting up as normal and there you go there's the pump ticking away and the uh, the burners started up a little bit of a, a diesel smell out of the exhaust uh, I think I'm going to put the cover on uh, I think I'm annoying the heater even more there's not uh, that much pressure coming out of the uh, the front of the, uh, the heater because I'm losing it all here with the um, with the cover off so I'm going to stick the cover back on Oh yeah, yeah that's better. I was losing all the uh, the power out of the fan. That's really that's really kicking some uh, some pressure, some heat out there. Okay, so I think I'm going to uh, turn the heater off now and put it all back together. Okay, so I'm turning it off. And I'm going to let the heater go through its cooling down cycle. Okay, I'll just show you those little uh, magnets. Can you see them in the fan? There you go. So, as you can see guys, they are pretty simple to strip down and work on. If you have ever got to change the motherboard, uh, and there's the glow plug in there, they're, they're, they're really easy to, to change and to get to. Uh, and obviously the pump, if you ever have a problem with the pump, quite easy to fix. And uh, oh, and there's a little, a little fuse there in case you ever have a problem, worth knowing. So there it is guys, all back together, I'll give it a good uh, a run now to make sure it's all working properly, I'm sure it, I'm sure it is, um, but now we know that you can't run one of these diesel heaters um, with a motherboard out of the main casing, but I'm sure some of you guys uh, that are experts on these heaters already knew that the heater was never going to operate properly with the motherboard away from the fan. Uh, but now we all know, don't we? <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. Please give me a little like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.